Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today for another video talking about herb seed saving. Now I have several videos. Uh, I actually did a three part series about three or four years ago. And I, uh, I did another video this last summer that I need to add into that playlist. And then this one's gonna go in there as well. So I'll be linking to the whole playlist down below because, uh, and, and some you'll see by what I'm gonna show you today that some things have changed from four years ago when I first started saving some herb seed because I'm always finding new and better ways to do it. Now, before I show you this, one thing to keep in mind is if you're looking at saving herb seeds for just your own personal use, let's say echinacea, for example, just save the whole flower head and then you can just stick the whole thing in the ground if you want. If you get a whole bunch of plants coming up, you can divide them up. It just is totally up to you. If you're looking at selling your own seeds, which is I think more and more people need to start doing this like we do on our Etsy store. We offer quite a few seeds and we're always offering more as we as we get more and I learn more about the best way of harvesting those seeds, the best time and how best to sort them out. And but we sell out. We our our seeds sell really good. So sometimes if you can't find what you're looking for on there, it's simply because we're sold out. There will be more coming in the summer. Some seeds are ready for us to put up as early as I think July or August and then in the fall and winter I usually can get even more up. So when it comes to herbs specifically, well any of your plants that are that you're saving seeds from, there's going to be so many different ways of saving your seed. Oh, I need to get the tomato seed one in there too, the way I save my tomato seeds, because that's a little different yet than what a lot of other people do. I did come up with a new trick for saving yarrow seed, which was one of the ones I covered in, in one of my very first videos. And this is a much better, quicker way. And this one will apply to any herb where you have like small flowers that put out a whole bunch of seed per flower. So yarrow is one of those. So you can see a picture of what the yarrow looks while it's growing fresh and it's in full bloom. You can see that they're real tiny white flowers and in the center of each one of those flowers it's gonna get a whole bunch of seed. I would say there's up to 25 seed per each tiny little flower and then they the flowers grow in a big cluster. So this is here is what they look like when they're dried. All I do when it comes to these kind of things is I simply just cut off the whole flower head and once I know it's mature enough and then put it in a little container like this and then just let it completely air dry on its own. And then once they're ready, then I sort them out. Now this will apply to quite a few seeds, but not all of my herb seeds I do the same way. So I recommend you check out the one I did this last summer that's in that playlist where I talk, where I show how I use pillowcases, because that's going to be better for certain other types of herb seeds, especially ones that that uh, make a heavier seed that will fall to the bottom where these don't do that in this kind of thing the yarrow the pineapple weed that was where i first tried this method i'm going to show you it was the best way to do it because those seeds are so tiny is to use a mesh strainer like this a very fine mesh this is a stainless steel one and this is going to be better than your nylon ones for because it's stronger and so this is definitely going to work better i i prefer the the stainless steel though the nylon ones have their place these ones are better for this kind of thing and i also found that the stainless steel mesh strainers have slightly bigger holes the, than the nylon ones so because of that that's another reason why this type works better if you end up watching my old video on where i did talk about yarrow i was doing like two to three different herbs in each one of those videos. The way I do it now is very different. The way I was doing it was I was taking the center of each flower and then pulling the seeds out. But as you can see, the problem I was having is these flowers are so tiny, is every time I do that, a lot of times the whole flower head wants to come off and then it just makes it harder to keep that flower head out of the seed itself. But the much easier method, now this is all mostly seed in there. There's a lot of seed because this yarrow seed is very, very tiny. You see that? But there's also some flower petals in there, which is not a big deal. I'm mostly trying to keep the big chunks up. So by simply taking the whole cluster like that and throwing it into the mesh strainer once it's dried, again, this will apply to pineapple weed or any kind of 
flower that just gets a ton of little tiny seed and then I simply just squish it around in there and then and just move it around and you can see that seed falling into that container and that's why I wanted to have a separate little uh, tray so you could see it you could see how much I'm getting from this little cluster that is mostly seed you're seeing in there there'll be a few little pieces of chaff and a few little uh, flower petals but for the most part all that stuff stays in the strainer itself and so I found this is like the quickest easiest way to do it and then I just take that you can compost it I usually am sitting in the living room when I'm doing this close to the wood stove so I just toss this in the wood stove it burns right up okay so let's do that again you can see that again maybe get a better hopefully get a little bit better view here and just put your flower I'm going to put a little bit more than that in there and this, I uh, just can't believe how much time this saves me doing this. So much quicker. And one of the reasons why this is better than, uh, like, the way I would do amaranth or woolly lamb's ear seed, which you'll see videos on that. Like the amaranth in particular, you blow, you get it, you just put it all, the whole thing in there, and then you just blow the chaff off. And the seeds are heavy enough, they go down to the bottom of the tray, and then all the chaff just blows off the top. I just shake it, and then I just blow on it outside and let all the flower petals go everywhere else and then the seed gets left behind that doesn't work with small lightweight things like yarrow pineapple weed and certain other seed and so this method here is works extremely well because yeah if you blow on it it's just gonna it's gonna blow everything out the chaff the petals the seed <laughs> and so don't want to do that with really lightweight seeds like this and that would include your valerian seed as well and with that in mind, since I'm here, I have to apologize to everybody. I was promising I was going to put the valerian seed up on my store this past year, and I was I would have had a ton of seed, but I made a major mistake when I was harvesting my flowers. I harvested them. I should have known better because I'd done it the year before. I'd, I'd saved a little bit, not much. I saved a little bit. Mostly I the year before, I was drying up the flowers to mix in with the leaves to use for adding to teas and making my pain relief extract. So I didn't save very much seed from the year before, but I managed to do it right then. But then this past year, I was like, great, I'm going to have tons of seed to put up on the store. Everybody's going to be so happy. I harvested probably about 95% of them way too early and they weren't mature enough. And I only ended up with a few little packets of seed that I did sell, but that's all I had. But I promise this next year, well, I shouldn't promise. I'm going to, I'm going to, now that I know what they're supposed to look like when they're fully mature, because I did leave some flowers on there so I could watch them. And I, and as soon as I saw what they did when they got uh, as they fully matured, I realized how wrong I was because valerian will get a little fluff on it right when that seed is mature so that the wind can carry it off. And I don't remember seeing that the year before. So make sure you're not harvesting your seed too young. So this year I will be selling, but it won't be probably until fall. I will be selling the valerian seed. I just need to give it more time to to mature and so I apologize to all those people I promised I would have that seed up on my store and I'm wondering whatever happened to it well I didn't I had messed up so just make sure you're paying close attention to that learn about all your different seeds when's the right time to harvest them and so on and so forth so anyway just a little tip on the seed saving and don't forget to check out the playlist down below that has more about seed saving I think I have one on beans as well so I'll try to consolidate all that into one playlist so that you can go through there. Um, and of course, this is gonna be for later in the year, but uh, I wanted to get this out right away so it's something you could start thinking about. And also knowing when those seeds are ready to harvest. You wanna make sure they're mature enough, otherwise you're not gonna get viable seed. All right, well, I hope you found this video helpful. I'll keep trying to put out more videos like this as our season, as we get later into the season and you want to start saving your seed for next year. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care, and God bless.